Hi guys and welcome back to the Grace Games channel. You may have seen my other Minecraft video about what I had done so far. I had like two houses and a swimming pool and quite a lot of other things. Um, but I decided to start a new survival mode game because I thought uh, that you might want to see something that had been built from the very beginning. I know when I watch YouTube videos that's what I want to see. So I'm just about to start on new survival mode. Um, and I'm hoping to just build a house and basically survive the night because to be honest I'm terrible for dying on this game. So first things first I'm going to go straight over to the nearest tree and try and collect some wood and hope that nothing nasty comes near me. I seem to be like a magnet for creepers and anything nasty on this game so we'll see how well that goes. Alright let's try and go down here. Oh gosh there's not much bark on this tree. <laughs> Come on. I think I'm going to need about four trees worth just to build like a very basic house just to survive the night. So that's the top priority first. Also I'm going to try and grab some food if I can because I know in survival mode having meat and a good stock of meat is essential. I am used to playing on the creative mode um, or survival mode peaceful. Um, so if you've got any tips on surviving survival mode, um, then please write them in the comments because anything might help. Alright, that's quite a big tree. I think we're going to need at least one more, if not two more. Let's go over here. Let's get those. These come in handy when you want to make paper. because I'm always paranoid that it's going to get dark on this game. I really want to get a house built before nightfall. Get some more of this. It's going to be a bit ma mismatched wood on this house. Normally what I try and do is build like a small house um, just straight off, like just to survive the night and survive a few days. And then when I've collected a few more resources, start building a bigger, better house with much more but um, yeah top priority first is just build a little shelter right that's that just make sure there's nothing around it's starting to get dark so I'm just gonna oh an apple might need one of those later right I'm just gonna go up here and get building um, does this look like a good spot? I'm not really sure. I think I might go over there because it's a lot flatter and I think I'll be able to find my home a lot easier. Whereas if I build at the top there, I feel like my house might be hidden by trees and then I'll never find my way back to it at all. <laughs> oh, come on. Right, let's go up here onto this really flat bit. Oh, there's a nice little field of ducks here. <laughs> I might have need to eat those later. Right, let's collect as many planks as we possibly can, and then get building. Um, I'm not going to do it huge or anything, I mean, it's just literally to survive the night, so it's probably going to be like four by four. <laughs> no, maybe that will be a little bit small, maybe just we'll do it a little bit more this way. That will literally do. <laughs> survival mode. Oh no, I've run out of planks. Quick, make some more out of the birch. <laughs> it's not going to match, but who cares. Oh, I'm going to have to build a little step up. There we go. And get down. I might just have to brick up the entrance if it really comes to it. 
Right, I'm going to quickly get this plank back and try and build a crafting table as soon as possible. That's going to be a must for the first night. Oh, pop those down, got a nice crafting table. Right, pop that in the corner there. And second thing I'm probably going to need is a chest. So, I like to build the double chest just because I find that, find that you get so much stuff, especially coal, that you want to store straight away. Right, so I'm going to try it. Where am I going to pop these? Oh, I'm probably going to pop them here. Right next. There's not exactly a lot of choice where to put them, is there, if we're honest? Um, I'm going to pop my little oak sample, um, oak sapling and some seeds in there, because I don't need those. Right, next priority, make a door. <laughs> It's quite easy to make a door because it's just like a little rectangle shape. So if you're struggling to remember, then that's that's how it's done. Pop a little door on. Oh, why did you not do that? Let's move back a little bit so we can do it now. Oh, what have I done? That is not meant to go there. <laughs> Let's hope I didn't destroy the chest. Now I'm trying to get rid of it. Right, I'm going to stand here, and the door is going to fit. I'm determined. Yes, victory. Right, I don't need another two doors. This house is too small to possibly need any more doors. Right, next priority is probably to make some sticks because not only are we going to need torches quite soon, we're also going to need pickaxes. So we've got, we've got lots of uses for sticks that we're going to need. Right, start by making a wooden pickaxe. The thing about wooden pickaxes though is that they wear out super quickly. So I'm going to make three to start. And hopefully I'll be able to get some coal and iron and things. I'm going to go straight out. And, oh, I don't know. It looks like it's getting dark kind of soon. But I'm going to try and get some, maybe some coal or something like that. So I can get some torches. That would be really helpful. Um, over here looks good. I don't want to go too far from my home because I always lose it and that would be really bad. Oh, it might be nice to get some sand. I'm just going to grab a quick bit of sand, because if I get a furnace quite soon, then I'll be able to get some glass, and then I'll be able to see if it's day or night dead easy. I quickly grab some before the water gets in. Right, that's enough of that. I haven't got time for this. It's getting dark. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Ah, here we go. Nice little cave. I really don't want to go in there, though. I don't want to know what nasty is going to be in here. Well, it's fairly well lit. I haven't got any torches though, that's an issue, so if I go further in, I'm not going to be able to see anything. Oh god, that don't sound good. Oh, lovely, some coal, quick, 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 I'm going to try and get as fast as I can and get out of here. <laughs> I do not want to hang around. There's loads of it though. I want stone too, because then I can have the furnace. I'm going to get out of here and go near, right near the entrance and then try and get some of the um, stone from the entrance because I feel like staying in there is just a bad idea with all these creepers around. Right, I'm just going to quickly try and grab some stone from here. I feel like there's less danger near the entrance. And then I'm going to take it back to the house. How many have I took? I think I've took about seven or eight, maybe a couple more, just because I want to be sure that I get the nine that I need for the furnace. Right, let's run back to the house. Quick, 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 quick. Before it gets dark. It really is setting now. I really want those torches. So I've got coal. Uh, I've got stones. So I'm going to have furnace. I'm going to have torches. I can make glass. It's all good for a first night, I think. And I've got the apple just in case I get hungry. So it's not looking bad so far. And it's not even dark yet. So let's get in. Quick, 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 quick. Right, first things first. Probably make a furnace. I haven't got really any room for a furnace, but I can always pop it outside. Oh, where did I put the middle one in? There we go, get a furnace, and just gonna plonk it outside. There's no room inside for this. And I'm not going to put it too near the house because I don't know if it'll burn down. I don't really want to risk it. Right, I'm just going to put half my coal in and my sand. Oh, that's been away nicely. I don't want to waste all my coal just on that. But it will be nice to have some glass. Um, my next priority is, yep, you've guessed it, make torches. You can never have enough torches. Twelve should be enough, but I just like to have loads and loads of them. Right, 
I'm just going to put loads of them in here. And it's so small. But it does keep the creepers away. And I'm going to put some outside as well. Put some next to my little furnace. So I can find our way there. And on the building itself. I'm even going to put some around this side. Because I feel like when I'm going out tomorrow. Hello duck. <laughs> um, I'll be able to find the house again quite easily. I'm not sure what that duck's doing here. Hello, are you going to be my friend? No, die. Oh no, don't run away. I want to kill you. Die. That'll do for later. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd just pop that in the furnace now, actually. Yeah, I might. I might pop that in the furnace now because you never know when you might need it. Right, shut the door. I'm just going to get rid of one of these blocks and put the glass in. That's looking better already. Okay, I can I'm not going to bother too much, if I'm honest, because it is just for tonight, and eventually I will be moving on to a bigger house. I'm going to put the seeds in. Um, I haven't really got much of anything else to put in, to be honest. Maybe put my three bits of sand in. And I think that's it. So, it's not quite dark yet, but it is getting there. I On the first day, I managed to make a little wooden house, set up a chest, set up a table, got some glass, managed to get some food, and just generally had a look round, but obviously there's loads more to explore and I think next time I'll just try and collect resources like coal and iron. Um, so if you want to see more of my Minecraft series then please subscribe or comment with ideas on what you think I could do. Thanks for watching, bye!